Hello, and welcome to another AMBOSS tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to scrub in using the counted brushstroke method. There's also an alternative scrubbing technique, the alcohol-based hand rub. We cover this method in a separate tutorial, which you can access here. Let's go. Before you get started, remove all jewelry and accessories from your hands and wrists. Then, grab a scrub brush packet, open it, and place it on the ledge beside the faucet, open side up. A pre-wash is only necessary before the first scrub of the day, or if your hands are visibly dirty. For this, wash your hands and forearms once thoroughly with regular soap. If necessary, you should also clean your nails using the nail pick. Then, wash the soap off completely. Once your hands and nails look clean, you can start with the actual scrub. First, lather up the brush with water. The surgical brush is usually impregnated with an antiseptic. If not, add the antiseptic now. Then, turn off the faucet to avoid wasting water. If the faucet isn't sensor activated, use your elbow. The brush has two sides, a soft spongy side and a rough abrasive side. The rough side should only be used to clean your fingertips and nails. Throughout the procedure, keep your hands away from your clothing and higher than your elbows so that the water drains away from your hands. Start with the fingertips and nails of the first hand, scrubbing them with about 30 strokes using the rough side of the brush. Next, Move on to the fingers of the first hand, for which you'll use the soft sponge side. Work your way systematically from the little finger to the thumb. The key principle of the brush stroke method is scrubbing all four anatomical sides. Use at least 10 brush strokes on each side. When scrubbing your little finger and thumb, you should include the whole medial and lateral edges of the hand. Then clean the palm and back of your hand scrubbing them thoroughly with 10 brush strokes each. Now you can move on to the forearm. Mentally divide it into two halves, which you will clean in turn. For each half, scrub all four sides using 10 brush strokes on each side. Do one area at a time. Once you've finished one part, you shouldn't go back to it. And again, remember to keep your hands higher than your elbows. Now repeat everything on the other side. Let's summarize the steps as a reminder. Scrub your fingertips and nails using about 30 brush strokes with the rough side of the brush. Then, switch to the spongy side of the brush and work your way from your little finger to your thumb, covering all four sides of each finger. Use 10 brush strokes for each side and include the medial and lateral edges of the hand. Next, scrub the palm and back of your hand with 10 strokes each. Finally, move on to your forearm, which you should clean in two halves. First, wrist to mid forearm. Then mid forearm up to the elbow. For each half, use 10 brush strokes on each of the four sides. Now it's just a matter of washing off the antiseptic foam. Keep your arms bent with your hands higher than your elbows so that the water runs away from your hands. Move your hands, followed by your forearms, slowly through the stream of water. If you can still see some foam, don't move your arm back and forth through the water. Simply repeat this step. Unfortunately, if you accidentally touch something that's non-sterile, you will have to start over again, so be mindful of your surroundings. Now all that's left to do is dry your hands and forearms. You may be handed a sterile towel by a surgical assistant, or there may be a sterile paper towel provided with the gown. For each side, start by drying your hand, including the spaces between your fingers, and move up towards your elbow. Make sure you don't let the towel or your arms touch your scrubs and don't go back over areas you've already dried. And that's it. Your hands are scrubbed clean and you are ready to gown and glove. Make sure you keep them at chest height and a safe distance from your body and surroundings to avoid touching anything. Check out our other tutorials for step-by-step -step instructions on gowning and gloving here. Also, check out the AMBOSS article for more tips on working in the OR. See you next time. 